Hi, I'm Sapien Tia. This is very introductory stat course for beginners. Fundamental 6. What is the correlation? Okay, in prior class, we learned about type of variable, nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio. Okay, and this time we study about the correlation. What is the correlation? The correlation is a kind of a functional relationship that two variables co-vary. For example, when x increases, y increases. Okay? This concept is same as when x decreases, y decreases. Right? And also, it can be changed when y increases, x increases. Also, this is the same as when y decreases, x decreases. These four sentences are same in correlation. This is positive correlation. Positive correlation. Positive correlation means two variables move toward the same direction. Okay? X and Y moves same direction. That is positive correlation. Otherwise, if when X increases, Y decrease. When X decreases, of course, Y increases. It can be changed into when y increases, x decreases. Likewise, when x decreases, uh, sorry, when y decreases, x increases. These four sentences are same in correlation. And we call it negative correlation. Negative correlation means two variables move toward opposite direction, right? Okay, but there is another thing in correlation. The correlation coefficient means two things, power and direction. You must remember power and direction, okay. The correlation coefficient is ranged from minus 1 to plus 1, okay? If correlation coefficient equals minus 1, it means that it is perfect negative correlation. If correlation coefficient is 0, mm -hmm, if this one is zero. It means that there is no correlation. There is no relationship between the two variables. Finally, if correlation coefficient equals plus one, it means that there is a perfect positive correlation between the two variables. So, the direction of correlation is plus or minus. Okay, this is the direction, plus, minus, is direction. And the power of correlation is, okay, when the correlation coefficient is close to 1 or minus 1, the power is strong. Strong power means that data points are close, okay? You need to uh, imagine the point. And uh, if data points are spread, the correlation coefficient is close to zero. Um, but it is very tough to imagine the number, correlation coefficient numbers and uh, um, scatter plot. So I simulated this one here. Okay, this one is a plus one correlation coefficient. Mm -hmm. 
this one. As you can see here, the correlation coefficient number one is like a line. But these are just points. It looks like a line. Okay? But if the correlation coefficient is decreasing to point A, the simulated graphics scatter plots are like this. As you can see here, the points are a little bit spreaded. Okay? And then if it is Decrease to 0.4. As you can see here, the points are more spreaded. Okay? And if the correlation coefficient equals to 0, the point looks like a just a ball. Right? Ball. We cannot find any kind of a direction from this scatter plot and if this is changed to negative 0.5 the direction is changed like this okay and if it is changed to negative 0.8 it is more closed the points are closed and finally, if it is negative 1, yeah, it's, it looks like a line, one line here. Okay? This is the correlation coefficient and the power and the direction. One more. The problem is um, this one. When uh, students uh, think about the correlation, um, they think uh, the correlation coefficient is related to the degree of the line. For example, here, this one is the coefficient is 1. How about this one? Also 1. How about this one? Also 1. As you can see here, this is also the correlation coefficient is 1, 1, 1. Okay, one more time. This is scatter plus correlation coefficient is 1. And this is also 1. And this is also 1. However, how about this one? This is 0. Why? Um, as I said, the correlation means the two variables movement, okay? The relationship between the two variables movement. Here, if x is increase, how about y? Same. If y is increase, uh -huh, no increase here. So, the correlation coefficient of this case is zero. However, how about this one? Negative 1. This one also same, minus 1. This one is also minus 1. So you must remember that the degree of the line is not related to the correlation. Okay? And one more. Um, another correlation coefficient... Uh, uh, um, characteristics is this one. Um, I just uh, simulate the uh, kind of uh, squared perm function uh, for correlation coefficient. As you can see here, the first one is the coefficient is negative 8.2. This one is uh, about 0. This one is about 0.4. However, as you can see here, these points are not linearly spread. The problem is here. The correlation coefficient is only 
used for linearly scattered data. These are not linear, so we cannot use correlation coefficient for this type of data. Okay? So, summary. The most important thing is, first one, correlation is not the causal relationship. Sometimes, sometimes, students interpreted the correlation coefficient as a causal relationship. But no, there is no causal relationship between correlation coefficient and it's a kind of a variables, okay? The second one, the correlation coefficient should be used for linear relationship between X and Y, okay? And in the correlation coefficient, there is a two meanings. One is a power, the other one is a direction. Okay, here, uh, for your understandings, I want to uh, talking about the causal relationship. Okay, causal relationship means that there are cause and effect between two variables. But in correlation, there is no cause, no effect. Okay? For example, because of heavy dinner, I'm full. In this case, the heavy dinner is caused and uh, my, my, my stomach, full stomach is effect. Okay? Because of an income, I have an expenditure. Here, income is cause and expenditure is effect. Finally, because my customers are satisfied they would revisit re, uh, they would re revisit here the satisfaction is a uh, cause but the revisit intention is effect okay in correlation there is no cause no effect fundamentals six what is the correlation i will stop here today